below, Jake. Here are some cool things that the 1440 Electro Harmonics Looper can do. So, the first feature I'll show you is this mode knob here. And now, uh, normally it's used to select which loop uh, you would like to play. There's 20 banks for you to save your loops on. And if you go ahead and press down the button, you can change the function of it. So that does something, that does something else, you know. Uh, this is for MIDI. Uh, this, this one, if I press down again, this will change the, the function of the stop uh, fucking button. So if I just switch around here. I can make it trigger the loop, which will start the loop over from the beginning. So you can just spam it and start the loop over and over. Uh, don't remember what that does. That makes it reversed. Uh, that makes it, uh, that makes the loop go an octave lower so that you can play over top of it. And then once you bring it back to speed, it will be uh, twice as fast, but still in the same key. Stop just makes it stop. So I'll, I'll leave it at, at that. And I'll go back to the loop setting. I'm going to go to loop four. And turn this on. This is a loop I made uh, yesterday, yesterday night. You can see here there's a tempo knob where you can uh, change the tempo. But keep in mind, if you're just having fun with it, you can't you can't really play along with this because now it's in a different key or whatever. But it is a fun knob to play with. This. Full, full tempo mode, that's an octave higher. All the way down, that's an octave lower. So you can play along at the extremes. The bass number is 120 though. This is volume. Very nice. Overdub. Uh, makes it so that it, it, the way it works is pretty strange, and I still haven't quite figured it out yet, but yeah. Um, these four buttons here, uh, this is for MIDI, so you can, you can say, like, you could use a synthesizer, and the looper will sync its MIDI clock to the synthes synthesizer, uh, so that everything stays on time. And uh, I'm really excited to uh, get my brother's synthesizer again so I can fuck around with that. Uh, so we also have the one shot button which will play the loop until its end and then it will stop. So you can see here. It just stops. And that's okay. And if we go back, play it again. Octave will bring it down an octave. It'll always go down. Although if you have it maxed, it'll go back to normal. How nice. How nice and kind. Reverse. We'll play the loop in reverse. Another fun feature if you look on the side here, there's two, there's two, well, there's three there, but there's at least two there. There's two here. And if you look on the side, it's left and right audio. And what this basically means is that you have two loops going at once. And so the way I have it set up is I'll usually have my guitar going in here and I'll have the microphone or piano going in here. They'll go through these wires and into my uh, handy dandy amp which thankfully has two volume knobs 
So I'm gonna switch to a different loop here. This is a vocal loop I did. It's on, uh, it's coming out of the, the right uh, output, which is going into this one. And I can just control the, the volume completely, completely independent of this one. And that's a, that's a really, really powerful tool, right? So yeah, uh, I think that's just about it for today. If you enjoyed this video, Jake, please leave a like on the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So I'll catch you next time.